No, I was debating recording another part in this session, and fuck it, I'm going to. This will be the 8th part, I believe, that I've recorded, and I haven't uploaded a single one of these at the time of filming this. I don't know why. Why I would record 8 parts of a Let's Play and then not even think about uploading it. Like, why record a Let's Play if you're not even going to upload it? Or share it? Because like the reason you're recording yourself playing one of these is to share it with people. Yeah, hopefully a few people will watch it, it'd be cool. As long as I can make someone have uh, some entertainment. That's all I care about here. And I also care about the fucking hip game, my lord! Seriously, they were- they, they knew what they were doing when they designed Calamaria. I like to believe that they made her hip sway like that to distract all of this, the horny gamers into getting themselves killed while you know, looking at the cartoon girl's hips. I wasn't even looking at them that time. But, uh, the seahorse really wasn't happy about me talking about Calamaria's hips. Oh. Huh. I didn't actually know shooting your torso did any damage her. I thought it didn't matter, I thought as long as you hit any part of her body it was fine, but no. Attacking the horse. The horso. Get it? Uh. Oh my god. I, I hate the seahorse. He's a bitch. Don't send many Christmas cards, he never thanks you. I, I shouldn't have gone for that parry, that was completely unnecessary. And a lot of it could have been prevented. A lot of the negative events in that sequence could have easily be prevented if I didn't go for that stupid puffer parry. Out of pending. Now she becomes evil, but the hip game is still on point. Alright, I'm gonna stop talking about her hips now, like a creep. I recommend getting rid of the eels, or at least a lot of them, because how much she freezes you, they, they can be a pain in the ass. Uh, a good AoE bomb attack should take care of most of them. I think as well as, like, if you, uh, use a chomper, I think it should do a decent amount of damage to them. But I'm not 100% on that. The worst part about her fight is definitely getting frozen during a bullet hell segment because then, especially this part, because it's gonna happen and if you're not careful you're just immediately gonna die. Like that! See, I did that, to, totally did that to show off an example and not because I suck and it just happened coincidentally while I was explaining the, the hazard. Definitely not that hard at all! Okay, well, it's going decently so far. Are you, I, I'm surprised to see her do one of the weird fish attacks without, uh... Uh, one of her weird... Turtle slash or seahorse companions. Parry. I always go for the parry if I can, because... Well, I'm not going for it for the ranking. It helps fill up the super, and super means more damage, and I like more damage. Let's see, we are, because we parry those three things, we can already hit her with another bomb attack. Which has some time. What I mean, has some time. It takes off time. You doof. Okay, it's going, going all right so far. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was. We're actually gonna go bomb mode here to just get an extra booming. We're gonna hit the coral. Oh, Nelly! That surprised me. I thought we were gonna hit the coral. Now yeah, we're gonna hit that. Oh well, there goes the S rank. Once again, we're not going for S-Ranks, so it's... 
Not that bad. There we go. I like the sad violin snake. He's my favorite. He really is sad. Anyway, that's an A rank right there. Which is great for us. So contract Kelly Maria. Now I don't believe there are any coins I'm missing in this part. But I'm not sure. So I'm gonna change up my loadout again and go with roundabout and charge shot here. Because here we have the Phantom Railroad, which is a boss I really like. And roundabout in this part is just god tier. Because there's a, you're gonna hit the boss, of course, and then you're gonna just hit all of the eyeballs coming at you, so you don't have to worry about them. Maybe one will sneak through, but hey. Either way, you're moving. So, uh, pairing those weird... bricks? I don't know if they're bricks or if they're supposed to be, like, bars of soap? Quite frankly, I don't know what the hell they are. Honestly, it's not a bad idea to just sit in one area on the edge and just wait for him to do his attack. But you can always just get boned by the, uh, so get it, haha. <laughs> uh, that's it for this Let's Play series, thanks for watching. Don't forget that big red subscribe button and give the video a 5 star review. Okay, never mind. Why am I... Okay. And most normal people don't spend this long on the skeleton phase, but, uh... As you can tell, I'm clearly not most people. Maybe I should have jumped and used my special attack on it, like I'm going to do here. So those ghosts have, uh, variable skulls in them. They also can lead to your death. Let's just free through that part. That was, uh, that was bad. I love his little laugh. That didn't sound like it at all. But shut up. I want to hit the soaps because I don't want to get flung around because, as we saw previously, it really fucked me over. Alright, I'm gonna just super him right off the bat. Just gonna hit that. Honestly, I'd rather just unload around about him. I don't know if it'll do as much, nearly as much damage, but... Clearly working more than my uh, char shots were. Or not, I don't know. Who's up there? Yeah, it actually seems to do more. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna char shot the rest of the Char shot should make pretty decent work out of these guys. I recall correctly. Or I could be lying. I could do more things to them. Alright, let's super him. That was dumb. I shouldn't have done that. Well, now we just can't fuck up here. Which, let's be honest, we're going to because I just got sent back. Now, charge shot should actually make pretty quick work of the train. 
I didn't even realize the boomerang was there. Yep, see. If we didn't get hit there, we probably would have been able to finish this boss off. And then complete Ink Ball Isle 3. So, I wanted to just uh, get this question out of the way. Uh, so, as I mentioned earlier, there's a secret relic uh, uh, in the DLC for Cuphead. And well, it's not really a secret relic, but it's an ancient relic, and you get points to make it better by specific fights. It's not based on difficulty, from what I, if I recall. It's based on, uh... It's based on, uh, Isla. So... I was thinking of showing it off, uh... On Inkle Isle 4 for a couple of the fights, but... Personally, I'm thinking of doing the bosses to level it up fully off-camera because it would just be me refighting the same bosses I've already done, but just with a little bit of a different game uh, gameplay. And quite frankly, I think it would be rather boring to just rewatch all the fights. But I, I did want to ask the audience for input because in the end, you're the ones watching this, and I want to make it satisfying for the viewers, and I also just want to get myself killed by a face of ghost, rather than beating the boss like a normal person. So yeah, in the end, I want it to be something the viewer would decide on. Personally, I am leaning towards just cutting the extra fights and showing off the Divine Relic's progression, but once again, that's gonna be influenced. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm gonna immediately see the votes and fully go with whatever vote wins, because even though I do want viewer uh, input, it is still a series I'm doing, and if I'm not enjoying the part of it I'm recording, then what's the purpose of recording at all? So I just want to hear some thoughts on that. But don't take that as a promise that I will go through with whatever the audience says. I just want some creative input from you guys. I forgot how good, uh... I somehow forgot how good Smoke Bomb was. So these ghosts are really obnoxious. Okay, thank goodness. I thought I was gonna choke there last minute, that's why I went complete silent. And with that, we finished Inkwell 3. And we're gonna wrap up the video there. I appreciate you watching, hope you enjoyed. And uh, have a good one in the next part. Uh, I'm gonna decide on what we do in the next episode off screen because I have two different points so we'll see where I decide in the end next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.